Hi, this is Chad from Blue Bear Ridge Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be putting E-Track in my new aluminum utility trailer to haul the side-by-side. -side. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta measure our side-by-side. -side. So I have a Razor Pro XP, which is outside of rubber to outside of rubber. Uh, when it came from the dealers, right around 65 inches. They say 64, but it's a solid 65 inches wide, um, just a stock ride height. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from center to tire to center to tire. And that's where we're going to put the center of our E-Track, obviously. So I'm just going to do some quick measurements and see what we come up with here. We set it up here, edge of the tire. The edge of the tire is 65 inches. So we take our tape measure and we follow the center of the tread pattern down right here's the center of the tread pattern and then the center of the tread pattern comes down to 55 and a half inches so we want the center of our e-track at 55 and a half inches apart from each other center to center so now we just go over the trailer and we make some marks and we go from there. So now that we're at the trailer, I just mark the center of the trailer in the front and the back. Just a mark, so you can see that. So that's the center of the trailer. And I mark the center of the back. Right there. And then we take half of 55 and a half and measure out from that mark each way so everything is perfectly centered. So when we take the 55 and a half, divide it by two, we got 27 and three quarters. So we're gonna measure from the center point out 27 and three quarters of an inch and put a mark and that should be the center of our E-track. So we measure over from there to here is 27 and three quarters. That's, then we mark a center point on our E-track. We line that up front and back. And that's gonna be our measurement. And it's roughly, it's about 10 and three quarters of an inch from the side to the center of the E-track. You can also measure there, but we're gonna go from the center out so the machine is centered on the, on the trailer. Uh, that way, hopefully we don't screw this up, so. All right, we're gonna get to marking and drilling and I'll catch you back here a little later. So the first thing I did is I measured on the bottom of the trailer to see where the, all the cross members were and I drew it on a drawing so I knew exactly where they were. And I measured from the same point on the top of the trailer as I did from the bottom of the trailer. I lay the tape measure out and I make marks where all the cross members are so I bolt through to hit them right in the center of the cross member. So then from there, I can work from the top, drill all the holes, run all the bolts down in. Yeah, so it's nice and strong. So I'll show you what I did. I measured from the front of the trailer all the way back, and I marked everywhere there's a cross member. So at 36, I'm gonna have to drill that hole out because there's no hole there. So right at 36, there's one at 55. We hit a hole there. There's one at 72, so there's no hole there, so I'll have to drill that out. And we come around to 103 inches, there was a hole there. And then 123, we, there was a hole there, so. And then obviously in the back. Okay, I got one side drilled out. I got 32 bolts in 12 feet of trailer so there's a few that are 12 inches apart most of them are no more than 10 inches apart i think that should be good no matter where i end up uh strapping it down it should be good so just show you what we got going here So 
So this trailer is 76 wide by 12 feet long, which is 144 inches. So my side-by-side -side is 10 foot 6 inches long from the longest point of the rubber to the longest point of the rubber. So it'll just fit on this trailer, uh, strapping it with the tire bonnets like I want to do. So this trailer should be just the right size. All right, now I got to do the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Obviously the same measurements. We just got to go through the whole thing again. Um, just make sure you hit every cross member through bolt it, tighten them up. I'm Luke using Nylox nuts on the back side. Everything's grade eight. Um, should turn out really good. Now that I got everything drilled and the bolts in from the top, now I just go from underneath. Just put all the nuts and washers on. So I got plenty of them to do. So yeah, just make sure you miss your wiring from underneath, like this one was close. When I drilled through it, you gotta be careful. All right, I'm gonna put all the nuts and washers on, just hand tight, and then I'll go back and tighten them in a little bit, but I'll catch back with you later. Okay, so the tricky part is tightening them by yourself. So what I've found is I just use the open end box end wrench on the top and impact on the bottom with a deep, deep well socket on it. And just tighten them up that way. Um, yeah, it does help to have a lift, but if you don't have a lift, you just be on the ground and hopefully have one person in the trailer. You just go side to side from front to back. So hopefully you can get some help. That would, uh, that would make things go a lot faster, but I'm gonna make do by myself and just reach through and do this all along. So I'll check back when I'm done. So the bolts and nuts in between the wheel wells are the hardest ones to get to. What I've found that works, if you're by yourself, you don't have any help, uh, you just take a long ratchet like this, get it on your bolt, hit it against the edge of the trailer so it locks in place. Then you go underneath, you hit it with the impact, and it'll suck down nice and tight. And you just take it, move it to the next one. So I had to do like six like that because I don't have any help. So um, just so you know, if you're doing it by yourself, there's ways to get things done. That worked for me. That's a pretty long ratchet, uh, but if you got something long, a breaker bar would even work. Uh, just get it on the nut and turn it till it hits the side of the rail and should be good to go. All right, well, that pretty much completes this job. Now all we gotta do is load up the side-by-side. -side. Everything's tightened up. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. So this is what it, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Nice clean install. Now time to load up the razor and go rip it up a little bit. So here we got the machine all loaded up and uh, we got the tire bonnets on. It's all strapped down, ready to go. Here's what it looks like. That machine isn't going anywhere. Now this is a 12 foot long trailer. You wouldn't be able to do this on any shorter of a trailer with this machine. So again, this is a 76 by 12 foot, 76 inches wide by 12 foot long trailer. And the Pro XP just fits on it with the tire bonnets, but you wouldn't do this on any shorter of a trailer, so this is pretty the smallest trailer you could get, uh, which is nice because we plan on pulling it behind the camper when we go riding, so we like to camp and ride. So we we'll pull this behind the fifth wheel, it'll be nice and light and uh, should work good. If you like this video, click like and hit subscribe. There'll be a lot more videos coming soon. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.